So does this romantic comedy have a serious undertone? Very much so, I think. It obviously reflects a situation in America which uh, uh, the average man probably didn't know very much about, but they uh, were aware of uh, obviously the rise to power of, of Hitler, uh, and with the you know the strong number of people with German origins, uh, it must have been quite a bold thing uh, to to make fun of the Nazis in the way that they do right from the beginning when the. Uh, uh, the, the, the people that they, they have identified as possibly being the commissar that they're expecting uh, turn out to be Nazis. Um, and, uh, but particularly when you see the, uh, uh, the swastikas and, and, and so forth, um, there is no doubt that it, it, it is very much against uh, the, uh, the, the, regime, the Hitler regime which again uh, is not altogether surprising in uh, uh, in a very Jewish dominated industry uh, but at the same time uh, they were trying to get their films seen by as wide an audience as possible so uh, it was quite bold to alienate them uh, they obviously didn't expect distribution in Russia so they could um, Make fun of the uh, of, of the communist story, and they probably uh, were playing that up uh, uh, somewhat. But uh, and the references to show trials are there in, uh, and uh, uh, that may well have been the uh, the first thing that a lot of people in America heard about this. So. It, it was a, uh, an attempt to spread information about what was going on in Europe uh, amongst a predominantly isolationist America uh, as it was in 1938. Uh, so under the, uh, the cover of, and the sugar coating of a, a pleasant light comedy I think there was a lot of uh, uh, important information uh, being supplied to the American people.